This blew my mind. You may know from school that a fluid can have molecules quite close to one another, but they don't interact strongly. Weaker forces between molecules means they can move around each other more freely, and a fluid can deform in a way a solid can't. But there are systems of large numbers of weakly interacting objects everywhere, from inside my body to the planet I'm standing on and beyond. One of the obvious ways we can apply the maths of fluid dynamics is to water, for example, in a pipe. You can also use these equations to calculate how water flows in the ocean and how it transports heat and salt around the world. But you don't need to stop there. The same equations can be applied to the atmosphere, or atmospheres on other planets, or even how stars move in a galaxy. Instead of considering molecules making up a droplet of water, we can consider stars making up a galaxy. Because both are comprised of large numbers of particles that are tiny, compared to the whole, that weakly interact with each other, electromagnetically in one case, gravitationally in the other. Mathematically, they're very similar. One particularly cool thing this allows you to do is measure where stars are and how fast they're moving today, and then apply our fluid equations to that system. But instead of going forwards in time, turn the clock back. We can guess what our galaxy looked like a hundred years ago, and then using that as our starting point, we can roll the equations back further and see what the galaxy looked like 200 years ago. Keep going, and you can perform galactic archaeology, reconstructing the deep history of our galaxy. But why stop at a galaxy? This is where things get really mind-blowing. Because galaxies themselves are formed into clusters and superclusters, each containing tens or hundreds of thousands of galaxies. And the way those galaxies formed into those clusters is studied using fluid mechanics. It's another system that satisfies our requirements for a fluid element. Just this time, the constituent objects themselves, galaxies, are also modelled as fluid systems, with those galaxies being a fluid of stars, and those stars having planets around them with fluid atmospheres and oceans.